So as you can see to the left of me, we've got the brand new BMW M135i that released in 2019. Now it's well known news that BMW have pretty much re-engineered this car from the ground up from a three litre straight six rear wheel drive format into what it is now, which is a two litre four cylinder all wheel drive car. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the car. We're gonna look at the exterior, the interior, what it's like to drive, what it's like to actually live with, and also to find out if it's any better than the previous generation car. Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So as you've just seen from that little intro there to the left of me, we have the 2019 BMW M135i. Now this is a car which has changed massively throughout its generations, especially since the M140 to now, which is the M135i. The car has changed from a six cylinder to a four cylinder, three litre to two litre, and 326 brake horsepower to 306 through an all wheel drive chassis. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the outside, the inside, what it's like to drive, what it's like to actually live with, and to find out how it compares to the previous generation of car, the M140i. It's a bit rainy, it's a bit windy, so perfect conditions to try out this four-wheel drive system. So as we start to take a walk around the 2019 BMW M135i, there's a couple of things which you will notice straight off of the bat. Firstly, we've lost the notorious the long bonnet of the previous generations. Both the M140 and the previous M135 before that had this notorious the long bonnet, and I think there's two reasons why this car doesn't have it. First of all, as you can see, the car has had a full redesign so it doesn't look anything like its predecessors and secondly the engine has been downsized so the physical size of the engine is smaller than the three litre straight six unit of previous cars. As we start to take a walk around the front, you will notice the BMW kidney grille has been enlarged just a little bit, and it seems to be a common theme with BMW to keep enlarging these on more and more cars. I'm just gonna grab the keys out of my pocket now to be able to turn these LED lights on for you. Let's have a quick look here. So they come on nice and bright, they look brilliant in the dark, and they also look brilliant throughout the day as well. So as we start to walk around the side of the car, you will start to notice some M Sport niceties. Firstly, we've got these light bronze colored mirror caps alongside the blue brake color is down below as well. In addition to that we've got some nice gloss plaque trim along the bottom which makes the car look a little bit lower than it would do usually. So one thing in particular that I really like about this car are the cutting body lines that go along the side of the car here and also along the bottom and as we start to move towards the rear of the car you will see the new brand new redesigned LED cluster of the rear lights. I'm just going to grab the keys out of my pocket again just to see if we can get them on. There we are, so it's got this nice little, almost like a heartbeat sensor detail in the back there. We've also got a vent in the back and also a vent on the other side as well. And we're also rocking the dual tailpipes as well. Now at the beginning of this video, I did say that this car was a four wheel drive, as you can see by the X drive nomination on the back. And also we've got a new slightly redesigned M135i badge there as well. So as we approach the driver's door to take a look at the interior, you will start to see the M135i's absolute party piece, the interior. So as soon as you open the door, you are greeted by a leather trimmed M Sport steering wheel along a nice black redesigned gear cluster down the bottom there. And also these absolutely fantastic M Sport seats, which have the blue accents and the blue stitching, as is the case with a lot of the M Sport models. Now, if you start to take a look in the middle of the car, you do have two large multimedia systems, which we'll look at in more detail when we jump into the car. But this interior is absolutely fantastic. So as we're on the interior of the car, I have brought the two screens to life. So this particular one on the left-hand side is touchscreen. This one displays all of the driver's stats, although it is a fully digital display. And if we have a look on here, we've got the speed on the left, revs on the right, fuel down at the bottom, mileage down there, and a couple of other bits such as the temperature. And if we take a look at the left-hand one, which is a touchscreen system, this is actually really intuitive. It's really, really fast. You can go straight through everything, and you can also look at whatever you want as well. So contacts, they all come up straight away. BMW assistance comes up straight away as well. It's just a very, very quick system to look at. Now, one of my favorite parts of this car is the iDrive system. This particular one has got the handwriting thing options, so it's actually touch sensitive, and you can actually draw things on here if you're looking at sat nav. Now, down the side here, down the side of the gear stick, we've got the traction control, parking sensors, stop start, and we've got your different driving modes there as well. So we've got Sport, Comfort, Eco, Pro. It's currently on the auto handbrake. This is the manual handbrake as well. And this gear stick is absolutely brilliant. So it's in this gloss black look. 
usual case with the BMW, so you've got a button on the side, move it all the way down to go to drive, over to the left to go into manual and sport, all the way up to go to reverse, and you've also got your parking brake there as well. Now I think we've had a look at the interior in quite some detail, you've got other bits such as your flappy paddles, which are actually quite large considering the type of car, you've got these lovely steering wheel controls here which are really really nice and they feel really premium. Down the side here we've got the auto lights, the lights have been moved from the stalks as well to be put over here so they're no longer in that area and big big thank you to Bluebell BMW in crew who allowed me to take this car out for a little bit to do a little bit of filming, to do a bit of a review for you guys and to give you guys a first look at the car. So one question that I've been asked a hell of a lot since I found out I've been reviewing this car is what does it sound like? So before we get onto the road, I'm going to put the camera outside. I'm going to start the car up, give you guys a couple of different revs in normal mode, in sport mode, and then we're going to hit the road. We are at the side of the road in the BMW M135i. I pulled to the side to give you guys a bit of an idea as to what my experience has been like so far. We've been on dual carriageway, so the car has been in comfort mode. The car is incredibly comfortable. It rides really, really smooth. The suspension's a little bit more compliant. The steering is a little softer. The gear changes aren't as frequent or as sharp. But as soon as you put this car into sports mode, it absolutely transforms. The steering becomes agile and lightning quick. The gear shifts are ridiculously fast and the throttle response goes through the roof. Now, when I had a definitive date for being able to do this video, a lot of you guys were asking questions that I wanted to answer. So the four main questions that came out of that was, how does it compare to the M140i? What is the all wheel drive drivetrain like? What does the car sound like? And how is the power? So the first question, how does it compare to the M140i? I just want to say it's not a fair comparison whatsoever. Given the M140i is a bit of a rare breed now, it's a three liter, six cylinder rear wheel drive car that delivers its power in a completely different way. So when you put your foot down in the M140i, you get this big wave of torque pushing you from the back and it just propels you forward like a bat out of hell. The way that the power is delivered in this M135i that I'm sat in at the moment is completely different. So of course we've got an all wheel drive system that is front wheel drive biased. So the way that the car delivers the power, it's more pulling you from the front than pushing you from the back. However, if you were to do a launch control or to set off rather quickly, you will feel that little push from the back as well. Now, one thing that I did notice while we're on the subject of the engine and the drivetrain of this car is that it feels like gears one and two are torque limited. Because as soon as you get into gear three, you almost get this M140-ish push from the back and also like a wave of torque as well. It's a really nice feeling and this car definitely moves. So let's talk about the sound of the car. Then. So obviously we've gone from a 3 litre to a 2 litre, 6 cylinder to 4 cylinder, so the sound is going to be completely different. Now with this car being a 2019 model, it does have the GPF fitted. I don't know a massive amount about the GPFs, all I know is that it's in addition to the exhaust system. It helps with the emissions, but the downside is it also makes the cars quite a bit quieter. Now I have listened to the exterior sound of this car, and although it does have a couple of the fake pops and fake burbles, it doesn't sound all that bad, but it's definitely not loud. Now we've yet to see what the tuning and aftermarket scene hold for this car, but I am very confident that it's going to have a lot of gains, and I'm confident that we're going to see some very very loud cars in the near future so before we take this car back to bluebell bmw i just want to get a bit of a shot of the accelerations what the sports mode is like and also how it feels when you are pushing on so as i said a little bit earlier i am parked at the side of the road so i'm just going to put the car into drive i'm going to move the gear stick over to the left to select the manual gears and we're also in sports mode as well so we're just going to pull out since we've got a bit of a gap and then what we're going to do is just go full throttle second third that's when we get that rush of torque fourth and it's just consistent it just pulls and pulls and pulls the 
way that this car accelerates is absolutely incredible. As I say, it feels like number one and two is torque restricted. However, when you go into that third gear, it just gives you the full beans. Now, as I said a little bit earlier, we are in sports mode. I'm gonna leave it in sports mode, but I'm gonna take it out of manual mode, just so we're in automatic again. We're just heading back to Bluebell BMW, and I just want to give you guys a bit of a round as to what my thoughts are on this car. So first of all, we've got the complete redesign of the car, and I said earlier in this video that it will split opinions. I'm a big fan of it. I do like both cars. I like the older generation and the newer generation, but I think this one looks a little a bit more aggressive now over time there will be styling parts that come out for this car that will make it look even more aggressive and no doubt make it look a lot better so as we talk about the engine yes it was a controversial move from bmw to move from a three liter straight six to the two liter four cylinder but the way that this engine delivers the power is absolutely brilliant now I think that the reason why BMW made this move was A for emissions and B because they also saw that Volkswagen had a bit of a monopoly over the around 300 brake horsepower hot hatch mark. This is definitely going to prove a big competitor for the Mark 8 Golf R and it'll be interesting to see how they both compare. So as we move on to speak about the drivetrain, I must say that it is a sublime system. Very comparable to the A45 and very comparable to the Golf R which isn't a bad thing. Yes, it's front wheel drive buyer, so the people who love rear wheel drive will be a little bit upset, but I think this is where the future is going to go for BMW. So we're just parked up around the corner from Bluebell BMW, where I'm unfortunately going to have to hand this car back. I just want to take one last look at the interior because it's what I consider to be this car's party piece. It's very comparable to the A35 in terms of the two dual screens. Everything just looks so modern. All of the materials on here feel very nice. They feel very BMW, if that makes sense. So I'm a huge, huge fan of the BMW M135i. I like the way it looks. I like the way it performs. I like the fact that it's got all-wheel drive, although I would have preferred a 3-litre 6-cylinder all-wheel drive. How awesome would that have been? But well done, BMW. You have made an absolutely fantastic car. And unfortunately, I have to go hand this back now. There are going to be tears coming out of my eyes as I'm walking away from that BMW dealership. But again, a huge thanks to Bluebell BMW for giving me the opportunity to do this. And if there's any other cars that you guys want to see on this channel, please do let me know. I will try and make it happen. But of course, if you've enjoyed this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, keep up to date with what I'm doing, and I'll see you next time.